Hello. Hello. So for this video, we have decided to take inspiration from one of our favourite books. When we were children. Yes. Mary Norton's Borrowers. And a few years ago, we found this clock for £5 in a charity shop. And I, we bought it because it was only five pounds. Well, you bought it. You wanted I it. it. I did want it because it's like a, it's a grandmother clock. So it's a tiny little version of like a grandfather clock. So I've had it in my bedroom ever since I was seventeen. Yes. Um, and it turns out it's actually the perfect thing to transform into a borrower's house because in the book they live under a clock. There is this passage. Under this passage in the hall below there was a clock and through the night he would hear it strike the hours. It was a grandfather clock and very old. Mr Frith of Leighton Buzzard came each month to wind it as his father had come before him and his great uncle before that. For eighty years they said it had not stopped and as far as anyone could tell for as many years before that. The great thing was that it must never be moved. It stood against the wainscot and the stone flags around it had been washed so often that a little platform, my brother said, rose up inside. And under this clock, below the waistcoat, there was a hole. So we dismantled the clock and... It's lucky because it was hollow. It's yes. completely empty inside. Yes, yes, All was. the mechanisms are in the top. It's yeah. completely empty. And we put some rooms in out of some spare wood and we're going to put latches on and some hinges. Do you agree, Sonny? I presume you can hear him purring <laughs> through this whole conversation. <laughs> Hold. 
these are little charms, little plastic charms that somebody sent us. These are definitely the kind of things that Arietti would have in her bedroom. That's straight. Yeah. Oh, is that upside down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oops. If we find some more, I mean, there's others. Mm -hmm. We might make a little gallery wall, gallery wall for Arietti. Is that straight? <laughs> it looks wonky from here. This came with um, lots of scraps that we got from a lovely subscriber as well as the... And I think it was probably out of a newspaper or a... Mm. It feels like a newspaper. So that would be something that the borrowers would do, isn't it? They cut yeah. pictures out of magazines and things. And newspapers. Perfectly. I think this was probably from a game. Yeah, some fake money. Probably a racing game, maybe. Yeah. We found it in an antique shop with lots of other bits, mm -hmm. which was fun. Yes, it was. <laughs> Go giant for a giant suitcase. box, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to put that in there, I think. Make it a bit of sandpaper, it looks a bit... Uh-huh. Well, unless I disguise it, but something looks a bit... I don't think they'd have that, Harry, yeah, she wouldn't... <laughs> What's her name? What's her mother's name? Homily. Homily would not like that. <laughs> so, I very much would think that a borrower, especially Arietti, if they found a piece of tinsel, mm -hmm. would definitely use it in their bedroom. I mean, it's shiny and pretty, isn't it? So, I figured we'd use it like a... garland around the top. I think that'd look cool. I'm going to see how much. Beautiful colour. I think she would have that in her bedroom. Braid? They would definitely pick up bits of pretty braid, wouldn't they? So you could put it around the top, like the tinsel. But they would definitely lug bits of cut up yeah. home. She'd be very excited. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the the best carpet for the lounge. These came free with cigarette packets. What song does it say on the other side? It says Egyptian Straits. Is that so they the, yeah. Does that so that's that's the name of the carpet, not the name of the cigarettes, I no, presume. Straits. Straight cigarettes. It's a, a, so Egyptian yeah. straight cigarettes. Mm. Mm. But I mean, they would. She would have been very chuffed she would if been, yes. if he'd brought this home, rolled up like this over his shoulder. Uh huh. 
but that's for the lounge, the very best room, the best room that has the wallpaper. <laughs> and then Arietti would get a late doily, because again, he mm -hmm. could bring this home on his shoulder, couldn't he? Yeah. And it's a very girl's room. I think it would look pretty. So, starting with the top room, we have sort of what everyone everyone thinks about when you think about a borrower's, borrower's bed. bed is a sardine tin. So we've had the sardine on toast for breakfast. It's delicious. This is probably why Sunny Cat is yes. hanging out. It probably smells a little bit like sardines in here, but they were in olive oil, so I couldn't give Sunny any. Um, and some cotton buds, um, cotton ball, cotton wool balls, cotton wool balls that we've had for years. That um, it's the kind of thing that the people, little people, may borrow. So I'm just going to stuff these in as a mattress. Wow, I would quite like a mattress made out of cotton wool balls. <laughs> be very soft. Very very soft. So the edges, should I tape them or? I think they, uh, well yeah, it would be very sharp on it, it would be like they'd put like ribbon around it or something to, so she doesn't get cut because it's very sharp. Okay, not that ribbon. Not no. that ribbon, no. <laughs> <laughs> or other ribbons, with lots of other ribbons, so I get the drawer out. Oh yes. Okie dokie. Green striped might look quite nice with the sardine the tin colours, but I'm not sure. With the sock. The sock duvet cover. Yeah, you want something. Then we do have a lot of that one. Oh, that one really goes, yeah, yeah and there's a hole with the. What do you call it? Is it a skein of ribbon? Or a spool? That looks really pretty. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure you needed to get the whole drawer off of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we'll we're going to need more it, ribbons, yeah. I'll leave it out for you. Come 
comfy. So this is a little cushion that would have had scent poured in it and then sealed up and then put in a um, box of socks or something or knickers. <laughs> so just that the would, kind of thing the borrowers yeah, would borrow. It'd be perfect. That's a pillow. It looks really cozy. <laughs> I would like to sleep in this bed. The sock seems very dark now. Oh. The well, colours don't quite We've go. got handkerchiefs. We do. A baby's sock. Vintage baby sock. Perfect as a sort of sleeping bag. Mm. First thing done. Took longer Took than long expected. <laughs> Made way more mess than expected. Yes. Excellent. So the end of her bed says Morocco. So I think we're just going to stick a little young Elizabeth stamp on Here's her room. She needs a bedside table. Does she? Is it going to be room for that if she has like a desk this end? Where was the I was thinking? We used the cotton reel that we found at the beach because you weren't able to see it. That's her desk. Maybe in the corner. Oh, it'll be this way. And then another. I don't know. Or maybe it should go next to her bed. The, the bottom of the box of these paper fasteners as a so it needs to come out a little bit. Well, actually, yeah, maybe she doesn't need a bedside table, she can have a bedside okay. shelf. She's got very high ceilings, it's true. But she, we've got quite a few things to put on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> but like I'm just thinking, like the flowers can go. Yeah, on the flowers ceiling. can hang. Yeah. So yeah, so a shelf like that. So she needs something on the floor, um, like a box that she'd put all her things in. Would a borrower pick up? Put her things in. Well, we'll come back to that. I think we should. But um, another. Well, I don't know. The, I think it's a little rubber duck. Would she have a little rubber duck? I don't. <laughs> We've got a pencil, and I'm going to keep this end of it for, it's a very old pencil, for another project that we have in mind. So because this was such an old pencil, when I sawed it, it just fell apart. So I am actually going to still use this piece of graphite from inside it and maybe wrap some tape around it and make a tiny pencil and also still use it up, still try and um, pencil sharpen this bit. <laughs> 200 white brass paper fasteners ivy series.
birthday candle, which we need to light, let it melt a bit, and then we're going to cut the end of the candle holder off and stick it onto a button that mum is sorting through. Yeah. Another thing we're going to be using a lot of in this make is matches. And luckily we have some on hand. Happy birthday mm. to you. So we will be using this. Yeah, because it would have been used. Well, not this. Well, what? Well, yeah, it would have been used because she would have used it to light her bedroom, but it might have been used when they borrowed it. I'm going to blow this out now because it's got that nice sort of globule of wax coming down the side of it. But um, I'm going to make a wish. Wow! <laughs> oh, no, this just popped off. I was going to say, a pair of pliers. <laughs> so, so, we think we're going to go for this lead hem weight. Mm, it might be a bit big. Oh, does that not just look like a candle holder like that? Mm, it might be slightly too large. Maybe that one, maybe that might be a pearl one. And then you can still see that it's a button. Yeah, do you think? Mm-hmm. Keep your key. Let's glue it on. Tiny jump I needed. I completely made it up. It's not brilliant, <laughs> but it's only tiny. And I'm going to sew this button on it. Mhm. Mm it's really cute, and then it's going to go on Harriet. It's warm. We're going to yeah. make a coat hanger out of a uh, cat grip. <laughs> I can't get over how much this looks like a lamp. It's two pieces of plastic we picked up at the beach and it's a lid and a winder for probably a sweet maybe or something. Yeah, like a lollipop. Yeah, and I just put a bit of milliput inside, pushed it up inside and it, it's, a, it's a lamp. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine that would be the kind of thing, well they wouldn't use milliput, but mm -hmm. it would be the kind of thing they would mm -hmm. do. Third colour on the homilies. And I said the button. <laughs> nice.
cute. It's upside down. Oh. <laughs> it's a brush. <laughs> a C Scrabble for Caboodlers. That we bought from a whole pot of them for 50p in a charity shop. We haven't taken it from our scrabble game. Nice. Camel. <laughs> from a vintage Christmas cracker charm. Uh, yeah, from a vintage a charm from a vintage Christmas cracker. A shell. Of course. That's a that's a <laughs> wental trap. The wental trap. I think it's a good place to That's an excellent place for the wental trap. Yeah. A monopoly dog. dog. <laughs> you know, um wental trap shells were once would have sold for hundreds of pounds. They were so rare and in demand that counterfeit shells were created and sold. No. How would you counterfeit it? Well, with like um Carve it. Yeah, or clay. Like it's a, it's an out, it's an outside thing, isn't it? It's like the ridges. Just get a normal. That's pretty crazy. Ooh, this is fiddly. <laughs> Cute. Then there's an elephant <laughs> charm. And then <laughs> a small glass mouse that's a crystal its nose and it, ears and its tail and its tail, so it's just a little blob with eyes. <laughs> but that's definitely the sort mm -hmm. of thing that they would pick up for mm -hmm. store. Well, that's what Harry Yeti because it should be look all the glisteningness of it. If I just put that upside down. Oh no! Very cute. And some more natural things, I think. Yeah. Where are the tiny ammonites? Uh. Ammonite. Cute. Adding a little screw to the shelf. And then we've got this hair grip. Because um, in the book it describes... Oh. Sorry, I had a... Borrow related injury. Um, in the book, it describes the sort of things that go missing, and it's like safety pins and pins, and well, more read you the excerpt. Yeah. But hair grips are one of those things that they just disappear. How many hair grips I must have bought in my life? Yeah. And they just, they just, they just, they just disappear. And safety pins. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That's one explan yeah, borrowers is one explanation of that. Safety um drawing pins. Yep. Socks. Yes. They can't be taking the socks though, can they? Some sometimes toothbrushes. <laughs> just I don't know <laughs> what's why. Just disappear. Um, I mean earrings for me sometimes. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. Buttons. Thread. Rubbers. Needles. Needles. Where do the needles, needles. go? Pins. Yeah, it's just things. Yeah. How many buy? Yeah. Do you think that's how they came? She came up with it. Yeah. Well, that's what she. Well, she was always fascinated by the amount, by the idea of tiny little people, especially outside in nature. Yeah, she was quite a shy child. Yeah. So she made up all these imaginary worlds of. And quite short-sighted. Oh really? That's why she used to stare into. Because she couldn't look. Because oh. her brothers were really into birds and things but she oh, couldn't see, see them, them so she would stare into like Tiny. bushes and yeah. things and imagine yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah I need a tool I'm going to have to okay, so... ideally do you think I can curve this I feel like I need another 
another tool as well. Curved kind of tool. Another pair of pliers. They can be curved or uh, round nose hole. Whoa. <laughs> round nose hole. ones? Yeah, that's what it is. Perfect. finger in the tripod and now I'm worried. <laughs> They'd have to use quite considerable strength to do this with their tiny little... I'm sure they would use a hammer. Yeah. Saying, like speaking anvil. of that, can you pass me the tiny little hammer? I do have an anvil. We do. It's. I've got a tiny anvil behind you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big blacksmith. <laughs> okay. I think that's as bent as it's going to be. As bent as it's going to be. Oh, it's cute though. Change your mind. <laughs> have the ends bent down instead. That was better. Yeah. Yeah. But it, would it not be bent down even more? When you get a coat, hang on. Uh, no, I suppose not. Well, I'm, I'm scared that the, it, would, it wouldn't stay on <laughs> <laughs> if I bent them down anymore. I mean, I could try. No, it might just slip off, mightn't it? Mm hmm. There you go, it's a bit bent down now. It does actually work. It hangs. Box that we're adding. A little uh, vintage one. That's her side table. Well, she has a oversized doll's house cup. And then this is a beautiful rabbit charm, glass charm that we found at the market a long time ago. There's mm -hmm. a few of them, isn't there? There's a pig, and so it's absolutely beautiful. It's yeah, frosted glass. And Ariette, he would love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tobacco silk, Minnesota. Is that a pennant on it? Yeah. Nice. But they gave them away free, as mm -hmm. we've said previously. But I put some wax on the back because it's a bit curly. And this, lots and lots of people have asked mm -hmm. what the wax. It's tacky wax. You don't have to get this brand particularly. There's lots of different brands. Yeah. But it's very good. Mm -hmm. it, I won't show you our pot because it looks a bit. <laughs> well, we got that one from a, an eBay lot of miniature yeah. stuff, didn't we? Dolls House furniture. It came with it. So the only time it fails is if it gets really hot. So if you live yeah, somewhere that gets really hot, things fall off the wall. Slide off the wall. <laughs> it's only ever happened once here. <laughs> oh, that looks so cute. <laughs> it's really nice colours. Then, um, put the angel up here. Stick the shelf on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, Sunny. Is she a cake topper, that angel? Yeah, I think so. two pictures down here. One of them goes with, it's obviously cut out the same mm -hmm. magazine as those and then it's a little Christmas but it looks the least Christmassy, a little, yeah. little tag. 
works for me. Put that up the right way, yeah. Little rabbit headboard. <laughs> and what do I just do with that? It's on the floor. On the carpet, sorry, hair floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine in the end there will be more in here. Yes, I think so. Well, I think there's going to be quite a lot already, but more utilitarian things, maybe. Yeah, we've decided that we're going to split it into a couple of different fields. We're going to do the living room and the kitchen in another part. So if you have any suggestions for either those rooms or these rooms, borrower-wise, please let us know in the comments down below. This is little beautiful little fabric scrap a lovely subscriber gave us. Quite a lot of these things are... Subscriber sent, yeah. They fit perfectly. And I like the ethos that lovely people have sent them to us. Mm -hmm. Means more. Skiing, <laughs> not skiing, being pulled across the. Actually, that little bit needs a wax there, doesn't it? This came from. This was from the 1920s doll's house, but it never seemed to fit properly, so it seems only fitting. It's a little christening cake topper, mm -hmm. little plastic one. But that was definitely something that. I think Arietti would pick up. So this is her desk, made out of a lid and a cotton reel, a tiny worn down pencil, a Smarties lid, a CMC glass multi, because that's the kind of thing she would love, mm. and a little tattler that she would have grabbed from a doll's house. It does actually have full writing, like all completely readable yeah. articles in it. She would, she would like that. Mhm. Mm I mean, there should be more things. Well, oh, there's a rubber actually. Where's the rubber? Rubber on the table. Yeah. Tiny little rubber. Or a razor. A razor. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then behind. Silk flower, probably from something wedding, do you think? Um, or like a corsage, yeah, uh -huh. or, or put on a hat, or and then some poppy seed heads, yeah, dried from our allotment. This is a, a stunning pin cushion that was given to us. Again, by a lovely subscriber. I should remember all these names, but they're all lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've never wanted to actually use it for pins because it looks too delicate, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it makes a perfect little place for her to sit. Soft. And also, we're kind of using this as a way to display some of our beautiful tiny things. Yeah. So it will be like a display. And speaking of that, where's the dye? Here. So what is it? It is a perfume pot. Hmm. But I think it's 1920s maybe. Or maybe earlier. Could be way later. Could be 1930s, 1920s. It's, it's made of pretend like ivoroid or something. But it's a bit, <laughs> the thread doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. But I picked it up at the market a long time ago. And I didn't actually realise it was, I just I just thought it was a dice. <laughs> and then found out it had perfume. And it would definitely be the sort of thing Arietti would pick up and use. Yep, she could use the perfume. She would use the perfume. So, that will go next to her desk. A little Victorian scrap. It does have a Christmas pudding on it, but the colours go best with it. Her room is a little bit Christmassy. She has tinsel and <laughs> vintage um, wrapping paper, but they'd use what they could, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. I think Arietti definitely would. He 
it just goes really well with the colour scheme. Yeah. Cocktail umbrella. I'll put that leaning up here. Imagine the sun could get very bright if you were a borrower, <laughs> if you happen to go outside. Might want a parasol. It's a little elephant pick. A little food pick. Food pick. But a weapon for <laughs> her. Two odd shoe charms, but we quite liked the idea of that she might have odd shoes. <laughs> I'm going to put them by her bed. Christmas pick. She's got a Christmas thing for him. Goes with the time of year. And like I say, I think there there'll be more things. Mm -hmm. But I think that's quite a lot for now. <laughs> I think so. I'd quite like to knit her some socks to hang over the end of the bed and things. And that would be adorable. And she needs some things on top of the shelf, doesn't she? She does. Upside down. Is he upside down? Oh yeah, he was upside down. <laughs> I was digging lower down anyway. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, it needs something on top of the shelf, doesn't it? Yeah. So for now we've added a couple of um, collar, collar studs, studs on the top. Collar studs. Yeah. I love the cat one. The cat one is amazing. I think that was hand painted though. Now for the master bedroom. The bed and my hand needs a blanket. The lamp I made. This, the room is sewing themed mm. because I imagine she spent quite a lot of she spends quite a lot of her time sewing things, knitting things. Because she didn't, didn't couldn't buy anything. No. Dolls clothes, but I think they were Cindy's clothes. I don't know. <laughs> Barbie clothes, but it's beautiful colours. Could I ask if we do that side first? Oh, okay. Why is that the one you're pointing <laughs> That's at? The one the camera's pointing at. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where are the scissors? Ah. Beautiful pin. I've wanted box. a home for this ever since we got it. I Again, think it's beautiful. Wonderful sent it to us and it is, yeah, stunning. It's just a beautiful thing. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful it thing. It works very well and it's practical for them too because they could pull a little pin out. There's a <laughs> hair roller that we found when we collected all the rubbish the, for the lighthouse. Yeah, for the, with the, the lamp, lamp stuff. It's just very yeah. <laughs> appropriate. Colours go very well. Um, little bag that we got in a yeah. lot. Is, is it not like a lavender sachet like scent thing? I don't know. Or well, we could pretend that's what yeah. it is, because that's the kind of thing they they borrow and it could make their house smell good. Yeah, I quite like the wornness of it. Yeah. And the colours again go yeah, really well. Yeah, the colours go really well. We're based off the all the colours off of the... Gutterman thread. Yes. <laughs> um, then, I need another pin for this, really. But a... could borrow one of the, from the, the pin box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a little found thimble and a pin with some thread on it. 
mudlark tip. Yep. Put the hole the other way around, or leave the hole that way. I like the hole. Yeah, this yeah. is what it's been things yeah. that would have been lost and thrown away, and mm -hmm. so you're gonna borrow one of the pins. Yeah, a black one or a white one. Maybe a white one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Homily, get some flowers too. Yes, yeah. take flowers. Again, I, we have all these beautiful, I think I bought this one, all these beautiful thread papers. I mm -hmm. don't know what the technical name for them is, but we have a few. And again, they've been sent by wonderful subscribers. Well, I, thought I, I think yeah, I bought that one, first. but these other ones, yeah. yeah. And all the, the um, look at that. Look. El Dorado. It's beautiful. The city of gold on the back of Hook and High Loops. Yeah, and the one we showed earlier. It all works very well. It does. Um. Well, you can make it, I don't want to cut it really, am I? Going across the ceiling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to cut it. Again, sent to us by a wonderful <laughs> subscriber. It's this vintage antique um, tape measure. I don't know if it's ribbon. Oh. Do you think it's not actually? I don't know. It's very thin tape measure, but it could be. I, I don't know. I mean, do you, can you get ribbon? Is that straight? No. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I should measure. Mm -hmm. Things on that. Then, <laughs> yeah, the scissors. I wanted to hang the scissors here open so she could cut her thread. Maybe we don't. Maybe they do look a bit sinister. Do they? <laughs> Maybe. A giant pair of scissors. Especially if you hold them open. If you had them hanging up shut, it would look less. Maybe they should just be in the corner. Maybe they should be. Now I have nothing to put on that wall, though. No, we'll think we'll find. Think of something. Oh no, that, that's not true. Oh, the thing. Yeah. The little embroidery thread, the wool thing. Dispenser. The dispenser. <laughs> we've made for. Straight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Christmas. More Christmas. <laughs> but it goes really, really well with the colours. It does. Doesn't it? It goes so with the lamp. Yeah. Got an old broken watch, which we've got a couple of for various Yeah, rooms. we've got a big one for yes, the lamp. Yes, because I've been trying for the last two years to try and make an embroidered watch face. <laughs> and I keep on buying second-hand watches for like 50p and a pound at the ah! markets and charity shops, and quite often they don't work. <laughs> Or I get them and I cannot figure out how to get the um, face off. No, the face comes off easy enough, back comes off. I've got all the watch tools in the world. It's the getting the winder out. Because they all every watch has a secret hidden button you have to press and some of them you just can't find. It's impossible. <laughs> Should I stick a button to the Yes. <laughs> Stick a button everywhere. <laughs> they would buttons are another thing that yeah, you lost you lose and you never find again. You're trying to get the wax out from the middle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it out with a yeah. pen in a minute. <laughs> the other two I think I might just leave lying on the floor. Mm -hmm. Might get some put around. And the little I like the idea of them just being yeah. scattered on the floor where she's been working. Um, 
This is some tiny knitting I did on some Tim. Tudor pins. Yeah, <laughs> Tudor pins. <laughs> that are, um, yeah. So Came from our mudlarking house, we need to. Yeah, this is as if she's been doing some knitting. Did you want to put the wool in this? Yeah, maybe. It's a big teacup that we imagine, and a tiny little random bone find, find from mudlarking that looks like it could be perfect to use as a darning mushroom. Is that a wooden bead? Don't know. Or is it actually supposed to be a mini cotton reel? Could be a mini cotton reel, but you imagine it'd be something she'd grab from. Yeah. <laughs> Where should we put that? Just sort of there. Cute. So I know we've had some criticism in the past about over cluttering our miniatures and our dolls' houses, and it's just apparently something we both do. <laughs> but I just think borrowers especially calls for it. Yes. That's the whole thing about them is that they borrow stuff. So and every time I've seen an adaptation or I've read it, it just Borrowers feels busy and cluttered and all this wonderful stuff. So yeah, we're allowed to do it this time. Yeah, and we'll probably put more in it. As well. Yes, there will be more. The we kitchen. Might, when we find I'm things. Very excited to do the kitchen. The <laughs> kitchen is going to be spectacular because it's a slightly larger part of the clock, and we and as you know, we like kitchens. Yeah. So it's exciting. Yeah, we have very big plans for the oven and stuff, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh the oven, uh -huh. yes, we're very excited about that. So there are Pod and Homily's bedroom, is Pod and Homily's bedroom. And we're going to put most of Pod's stuff in the living room. Yeah, in the kitchen, he, he has tools yeah, and things, doesn't and he? He goes out borrowing in the book, so Homily makes it a home and he goes out and brings her gifts and it's very, very sweet. What's that? It's a tiny, tiny, tiny razor. Tiny razor? Wow. So, Arietti wouldn't have that though, would she? No, but I imagine Pod would. Yeah. That's amazing. It's so funny that you just have those things in the house. <laughs> Your father bought me this, actually. Well, when we were first married, I don't know, I don't know, as he was trying to say something. You always know you like tiny things. <laughs> yes. Maybe take that instead of... Yeah. <laughs> It is beautiful though, isn't it? It is. That's stunning, yeah. Don't know if I'll put that in. The ladies' boudoir. Yeah, that would that Oh, should so I put cute. it beside her bed? Oh, maybe. That's what I mean. I'm going to find a lot of things <laughs> as I'm going. He does. So. There is Arietti's bedroom and Homily and Pod's bedroom. And we've got some really exciting plans for the kitchen, kitchen. and the living room. Yes. So and the top of the clock. Yes, that's going to be probably Third. filming its own, yeah. yeah, doing something with that. So we hope you enjoyed. Please give us any ideas you have down below for anything we could add in the living room or the kitchen or the bedrooms, any sort of things you think a borrower would definitely borrow. Because it's become, it's, a, it's actually quite exhausting trying to think like a borrower. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you as always. If you enjoyed that and you haven't subscribed, it is free to do so and you can do down below. We're very and, nearly at 25,000. Oh, that would be amazing to reach that for Christmas. And yes, yeah, so you can you can also hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when the next bits of this clock go up. Thank you, as always, for everyone that is already subscribed, everyone that's ever left a comment or a like. It helps enormously, and it means we get to do fun big projects like this. So thank you very much. We hope you're having a wonderful December, and we'll see you soon. We should wish you a happy Christmas, just in case. Just in case Christmas sneaks up and we don't manage to get another one out. So yes, happy Christmas, 
or happy December if we don't see you before then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.